Hi, I'm Dr. Li Wei Chen. I am the director of the program in heart failure and transplantation and associate professor of medicine here at the University of Rochester Medical Center. In light of next week being Valentine's Day, I'd like to talk about relationships and their effects on the heart, being that uh, this is all about love. Um, we'll talk about emotions and how they affect the heart. We know that the heart is a very sensitive organ, literally very sensitive. There are receptors on the heart that actually are affected by the hormones that our, that our body, our brains secrete. Uh, there are patients that are uh, very adversely affected by strong emotions and oftentimes grief or shock can be a bad one that actually causes hearts to be dysfunctional, to not squeeze properly. Um, there have been reports of so-called broken heart syndrome, which unfortunately does happen. There are people who have literally died because of release of hormones that occur during grief or highly stressful situations. We don't really know who is more likely to have a problem with a stress-related uh, factor such as this. Uh, there is some information that women tend to be a little bit more risk. It, it's becoming more recognized. There have been for you know hundreds if not thousands of years um, somewhat romanticized but but you know people dying of a broken heart. There have been more recently in the last five to ten years many more publications and the number of articles uh, that are listed that can be referenced regarding the subject have grown tremendously. Luckily, most people who go through a stressful situation don't have an untoward effect on their heart. So I think that, that not that not that everyone who who has this will will have a bad effect. I think that's one of the things to to be you know optimistic about. A healthy relationship is is very good for the heart as well as the rest of your body. There is data, particularly some collected here at the University of Rochester Medical Center, that patients who have heart disease will do better if they are in relationships. They looked at patients who are undergoing heart bypass surgery and found that even 15 years later that patients who were in good relationships uh, were more likely to be alive and, and doing well uh, even 15 years out. So I think that's a testament to the support that a good relationship can give. Emotionally, um, there can be a, a great benefit to having someone there and, and not being alone and not um, uh, going it alone. There may be something about you know, cooking for two allows you to be healthier than cooking for one and maybe there are some lifestyle changes that, that are different when you have uh, someone else to share everything with. Even though a healthy relationship is a, is a wonderful thing and, and I think that there's some data that suggests that uh, it is beneficial to your heart, but that doesn't mean if you're not in a relationship that you shouldn't still do all the things that would help your heart, which is exercise and eat a heart healthy diet and you know, enjoy your life uh, uh, to its fullest because those are good for your heart as well. Those are things that you can do for yourself.